Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Matrix Awakens demo for PC and just seeing how Unreal Engine 5 runs on today's graphics cards. And before we get started though, a like is always appreciated and get subscribed for more content like this in the future. And let's get started. So technically this isn't actually the Matrix Awakens demo that they had on a uh, console, but it's, it's, it's pretty much the Matrix Awakens without the characters in it but you can still drive around and stuff in cars and we can take a look at the beautiful city and when I had ginormous city that they have for this map look at how big this is all those buildings over there they're all like explorable you can go or you can't go in them but you can go to them it's just it's just a massive massive map and I will leave a link to the um, website that I went to to learn how to download this it was quite complicated but I eventually got it but if you want me to make a video on how you actually download this and use it on your own computer I might do that because it was a pretty complicated process but yeah we are on a 1440p and there is no graphic settings for this um, I don't know if there if there is a way to change them in like the game files or something like that I don't know I haven't looked into that but as you can see we're running at a solid 3740 FPS and keep in mind, that would be a little bit higher, but I am recording right now, obviously. <laughs> but when I'm not recording, it is usually around 45, almost 50, so, yeah. And we also get to see some of the really cool features that Unreal Engine has, like Nanite. So as you can see, that is a pretty detailed building. Like, if we go up to it, that is pretty detailed. But if we fly away from it... Like there's no pop in or anything like that you can't see like the building texture is changing like it could in some unreal engine 4 games it's just super smooth and like that that is a high that's detailed look at that but we can just smoothly back away and it still looks you don't see anything popping in or popping out it just looks so cool And if we hop out of flying mode here, we can actually head back to our character. And for some reason, when I'm using the character, there's like a weird motion blur kind of thing. It feels like I got a lot of motion blur. That's what it feels like. But other than that, it looks pretty damn good. And we can hop over, we can run over to a car over here and hop in it. And there's one other thing. Sh the shadows for moving things look weird. Like here, if we get a car driving by us. Look at the shadow under it. It looks like it's delayed, like behind the car a little bit. I don't know. I'm not going to judge it too much on the bugs like that and stuff because this is just some um, demo thing for it. But I'm going to hop around, hop in the car here and drive around. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of surprised that they have the car driving feature in here. I figured it was just like just a visuals demo and that was it oh as you can see it says up in the top right corner my video memory is almost exhausted that is because I am recording it never it never says that when I'm not recording because when I'm recording it actually puts the load from the, uh, the the rendering for the recording on the GPU so that's why it's saying that I don't know. I feel like this looks better when I'm flying. So let's get out this. Get out this car. And as you can see, look at this. It just looks so cool. It just looks so cool. And I can't wait to see what like some really like refined games look like with this because after all, this is a demo, and I would like to see what some big AAA title developers like Rockstar, Ubisoft do with this, if they do use this engine, I don't know, because man, they could make some damn good stuff with this engine. But yeah, in terms of how my RTX 3070 is performing, it's performing pretty good. You know, um, I don't know what kind of work is went into like how the optimization is for this map. I do not know, but 30 FPS is playable. You know, it's it's okay. You know, 
here will increase the speed here. And there is a menu for this, as you can see right here. I can change some of the stuff for like the camera. And then we can go down here and play with the like night mode and just makes it nighttime. We'll leave it at nighttime for right now actually. You can change the crowd and traffic and parked cars kind of thing. I don't know what these things do right here, the post processing filter and crowd and traffic. I don't know what they do. But you can do see the nanite view. This is how the game is actually rendering right now. I don't know why things look like they're shaking. I don't know why it's doing that. I think that's part of my motion blur issue, and I thought about re-downloading this file and then trying it again. See if I got got rid of that. But I don't know. It took ages to download the file, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Look at there's the triangles, that's how everything is rendered. And then they put like the texture over it. So cool. Yeah, we're running around in night mode here for a bit. So, so cool. It just looks so real. And let me tell you, the next generation of games is going to be just insane. Like, can you even imagine what GTA 6 is going to look like? Can I even imagine? But yeah, that is Unreal Engine 5 in the Matrix Awakens map and demo kind of thing. And yeah, I might try re-downloading the file and see if I can fix the motion blur issue that I have. Because when I move around, stuff just looks super blurry when I move around. Um, unless you guys know how to fix that in the comments, please tell me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, hey, go down below and give it a like, and then get subscribed for more videos just like this in the future. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.